We're back with Molly Kung Fu Fights the Primrosers. <laughs> yeah, dogs have the ability to Kung Fu Fight. Watch her. Oh, she can fight all of them off. Look, they're trying to get up on her. Now she'll Kung Fu Fight all of them off. Bug will go down fast. Bug goes down fast. Look at her. Oh, Bug is down. Bug is down. Bug is no threat. Bug is a beanbag. <laughs> you know, you have to understand, again, when they're a puppy, they're going to have this reaction to various things. If our reaction is that same reaction back, if you said, well, what, is, what do you end up with? A 90-pound dog that's jumping all over you. If you can just be indifferent, and I understand everybody, the people that say, I can't be indifferent, I have to react, I have to pet them and do all these things. That's fine. Karma's going to get you for the rest of your life, and just don't be a dog trainer. It's fine. There's a lot of things I can't do. I can't not just drive in the wrong traffic lane. So look, she's now kung fu fought all of them. They're all down. Oh, okay. If you said, what does that make you? Oh, a lot more appealing. A lot more appealing. So all I've got to do, I'm already looking at my second location. All I've got to do is... Big hands, big hands, big hands. So, I think I understand... You know, if you said that noise that you're making has a more ability to carry and stuff, I do believe that. You can try doing it with your voice in the beginning and stuff, but I think that obviously the metal, it's, it's making some kind of vibration that's very overt to them, and that's what you want. Oh, you tender, tender, tender. Oh, no, they, they, their mother's a big mushmallow. Oh, Rocky, too. No, he is kind of feisty, if you didn't neuter him. No, their mother's a big fall down. That's why they fall down. They mention fall downs. And you want that. If you said what should re you should you reinforce any subservient appearing behavior. All right, so I don't have all the other little random things today, but what I do have, I've got three dumbbells, and then I'm just going to try using, for some reason, this haunting little picture is now part of the show. It's kind of like Twin Peaks. The puppy. The missing puppy. <laughs> it's not really, but... Alright, so I'm gonna see if I can put it back in here like I did yesterday. Oh, he's gonna go around, though. He's gonna go around. Oh, you little monkey punky. I was like, damn it. That shows, though, his thought process. This one might come from that angle. Oh, you adorable little monkey. All right, look, so I'm put it back in there, and then I'll just look in there. You see that she's there. Oh, you, you did it. Oh, I hope you can see that. I didn't expect that one. She gave it a little bit of extra gusto. Okay, you could see. And she gave it a little extra gusto to get in there. If you said, why would this picture be easy for them to see? The simple explanation, the white border. If it were even on the black, they might not see it, honestly, as easily. All right, so let me just get ready. Oh, he's smart. He's going to wait in there for it. All right, look, I can put it around behind me, see if she notices. Yeah, yeah she noticed. I, could, I couldn't see her, but I just took my hand, I could took it out of her mouth and gave her the treat. You do want them to think you have eyes in the back of your head. And if you said why, in a way, they do. Oh, I'm sorry, was I stepping on your toe? I'm awful. Uh, they do have eyes in the back of their head because that's why they're turning their ears all the time and stuff. They, they know where things are. All right, let me get my treat ready. All right, so back in there. 
No, she didn't really see him. I'm just going to look in there. Yeah, she figured it out. She knows she's got to give it the old heave-ho. figures out to go in there. Now yeah, it's going to be a whole different story. Alright, so now what I'll do is I'll put it over here. Now she has to come out. She's very brave. She's very, very brave. Alright, watch. She's like a little dog genius. Put it behind me and see if she spots it. I'm sure she will. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Somebody better try to bring it to Mama. Oh, you precious angel. Yeah, that's scary good. Okay, I know what we can do. The wheeling wagon. Yeah, you can buy all this training equipment. You can buy all of this cheap. In fact, I'm gonna do my camera too, hang on. I got my smooth coming, I got my, I got my grip thing. You might try this thing, Mike, to get, it seems to make a steadier shot. This one's kind of adapted, but it, it does seem to, it does seem to make a steadier shot. Your problem is you've gotta get a camera person that understands your vantage point to the world is that screen right there, because if you get people looking, at what's going on but not looking at the screen you got a problem <laughs> you got yourself a problem that's what i've noticed all right hang on so remember we're just shaping the deliver to hand and you're crafting it. That's what you're saying to yourself. I'm crafting it. I better be. Look at her in that wagon. I mean, how cute is that? If I'm crafting something, I better be seeing the finished product. So everything I'm doing better be contributing to that. That's why I tell people don't waste time teaching tricks and stuff. Don't waste time with that. I'm starting to see a very, very destructive thing is where the people put their hand out and want the dog to touch their hand. Don't do that. I, it's, it's forced engagement because you're going, it's, it's honestly like, I really honestly, if I could live the rest of my life without having to shake hands with anybody, I would be fine. I, I would be fine. There's times I feel really uncomfortable and I know it's a social gesture and I know I didn't invent it and I wouldn't. But, especially men, you know, I, everybody that's ever shook my head said, oh, you jerk. It's not that. It's not that I, I, you know, I understand it's a social gesture, but it's not something that I just want a glad hand. I'm no politician. I don't want a glad hand, everybody. All right, look, so I can try putting it in there and then making it go farther away. Not that far. So I was able to get him to travel a little bit. All right, look, let's see if he sees it in here. Yeah, she did, but let's see if she remembers to go around. Nope, she doesn't remember. And if you said why, because she had success with that before. She had success jumping up there. She just can't duplicate her success. If it falls down in there, look at her biting the thing. All right, look, I made it fall down in there. That might, oh. <laughs> oh, you little monkey. I actually thought she would realize to run around to the door. I right, she's going to have to bring it up here, though. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, Mama better make sure she gets it. She brought it right to me. She brought it right to me. All right, look, I'm going to put the bottle in there. And this is kind of a big bottle. 
And for you guys that do your own little quasi vet work, uh, this is pharmaceutical grade cephalexin. You can buy it online, just you should always have it on hand. Oh, any, all right, look at her now. She's smart, now she's gonna sit right there. All right, look, but I'm gonna make it more complex. She's gonna have to go, <laughs> oh, complex, schmomplex. That's kind of big too for her mouth. All right, look, I'm gonna put it. So let's try the little picture, and I think they'll be able to pick it up. It'll be—it's going to be easy to see because of the white. Watch. Oh, she's already trying to pick it up. Oh, she can't pick it up. She's trying. Not one on your tail. Uh, it might be easier to pick up in this thing. Watch. You little monkey, you little monkey, you bring it to mama. Stuff like that, uh oh, you little monkey, you little monkey. That's the problem with stuff like this that gets flat on the ground. They do, they can learn to pick it up. All right, he'll see it back in there. Oh, you, oh, you little stinker. All right, I'm gonna try staring over into the wagon. I just picked it up because I didn't want him to get too frustrated. The bottom of that thing is, isn't completely even, so he should be able to pick it up. He's going to go look. He saw me looking. You little monkey. He should be able to pick it up pretty easy out of there. <laughs> Yay. Yay. He even skated over in the wagon. All right, let's try putting it back in here. See, that's her problem. She may decide, though. She may decide there's a better way. She knows other ways to get in there. Oh. But she also believes that she can get in there that way. That shows a lot. It really does. Oh, you little monkey. You little monkey. All right, let me get the thing. Oh, you little stealer. All right, let me put the picture back in there and just look. All right, he's looking at me, so we'll see if he sees where, cares where I'm looking. I think you've got to say that it bent his head. It bent his head. He didn't completely look in there, but it did bend his head. Oh, I think he spotted it now. Yeah, uh -huh. There you go. There you go. Guys, sorry, that was somebody calling on the phone. Anyway, how cute is that? And I like the way that they they get in that wagon. They don't seem to mind it rolling around with a minute. I think it would scare them. Anyway, very, very interesting. I'm going to run over uh, to Diamond Bar real quick, you guys, and just do a couple of things. And uh, then we're going to go down to the pond. But very, very exciting work. Very, very... Hi, Joe. Very, very exciting work. I can barely see my screen though. I've got to get those blue blocker glasses. The only bad thing, I did order that smooth, but I think you have to take your phone out of the case, which is going to be risky business for me. I'm going to have to be very careful if I have that thing out of the case now in this costly little device that one of these idiots doesn't grab it out of my hand or something. And I was thinking of ordering one of those ones that's got the big weight on it. I didn't completely understand it, but I said, no, they'll definitely think that's a toy. All right, guys, I'm running to Diamond Bar real quick, and then we're going to go down to the pond, so I'll come over there.